Now Neil has a message for Google. Hey guys, um, San Francisco battery person. Here to talk to you about um, the way you look at maps. I think by the end of this five minutes, you'll look at maps very differently than you do right now. You think that they're data and they're fact, but they're actually human created artwork. Um, and I discovered that firsthand when I got into this. So this is two years ago's Guinness World Record. I might be the only one in this room that has the Guinness World Record. <laughs> I, uh, I rode across the Arctic Ocean in a rowboat. I'm on the page right following the guy with the long, most um, mileage on his car. Um, it was, it was, uh, we rode from oh. northern Canada to uh, Alaska. It was the first time this row had ever been done, the longest two. We were only able to do it because this ocean recently thawed. But you can't tell looking at this map because it looks like it's thawed right now. Um, you think global warming is like way ahead of itself. Um, that was our boat. This is the ice extent that you can't see on any Google map but that we could see every single day as we rode 41 days across this unrollable ocean because it only recently thawed. Um, when you look at a globe, it looks like this. Everything is blue and beautiful, but actually what it should look like is on the right. It should show that there's ice there. And if it were like some sort of like an amazing globe, it would show it slowly shrinking <laughs> as we warm this planet up. Um, to give you some perspective, um, it's been frozen for over 700 uh, thousand years. We've been around only 250 million of those years, 250,000 of those years, and that ocean that I said was frozen solid right now is going to melt by 2015. If you pull up on your iPhone, don't do it because you'll lose attention from me, um, <laughs> Instagram, uh, it would look like this. What it should look like is that, and what it will look like over the next period of time is this. Um, so if we do nothing and we wait like 50 years, everything will be copacetic. But what this talk is about is about persuading Google to do something in the next 50 uh, years so that we can do something to prevent that from happening in the first place. Um, if we do nothing, researchers all agree that this will happen. It will turn, this is a view from the top of the globe. That's Alaska, that's Greenland, that's Europe, it's like Norway and stuff. Um, as you go to the right, you can see it melting, melting, melting. If you were to pull this up when you get home tonight, on Google Earth, this is what you'll see. So you can see America there in the middle. You think this is a satellite view. You think this is fact data. It's not. It's an artist's rendition of the world. And in the next video, you're going to see what, what happens as I scroll up. I scroll up and I click and I click and I click and you think this is real satellite view, right? It's not satellite view. This is an artist. Um, and what they've done is they've painted that blue and they've, this is actual satellite data, but that's blue paint over there on the right hand side. Um, and I would like Google to fix that. I think we all deserve to see satellite images when we pull up satellite view. <laughs> <laughs> this is the awkward pause. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> the problem is that Google paints all the five oceans in the world, the Southern Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean, all blue, all this exact same Pantone. Um, you can see Google right there. Love them, but they screwed this one up. It should look like that. The Arctic Ocean is frozen solid. I would know. I was, I was there for 41 days. And I was rowing over this thin sliver of, of recently thawed space, really close to the shore, because it's only like 100 miles, seeing polar bears and dodging icebergs. This is the guy that can fix it, and I've emailed him. <laughs> and he says that it's not on his list at the moment, but this could change. So I'm here to help to ask all of you to tell me um, What I would like you to do is use existing data. Uh, my mom lives in Denver. This place is in Denver. It's federal funded. S NSIDC, they're like ice nerds. And they have all this data that Google can suck up and spit out at Google Earth that change this artist rendition into fact. I think this matters. This is me teaching at an elementary school down the street. I think this matters because Data is a teaching aid, data is power, and, and because if we don't fix it, Santa's gonna have to learn how to tread water. Because he supposedly lives in the North Pole and that's Melter. Um, if you want to help me, uh, go, and that guy, go to fixmaps.org and sign the petition. If we get a couple thousand of these, I'm gonna email Luke and tell him to fix it. <laughs> He's a reasonable guy, he'll fix it. In the meantime, I go to elementary schools. If you'd like me to speak to your young kids, I'll do that. And I do this to elementary schools because I think it's amusing. <laughs> There's one more slide.
So please, um, help these guys. Uh, when I was rowing, we, um, we saw these guys. And if it all melts, they won't be able to swim all the way to shore. And so the polar bears are going to die if you don't fix this. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.